Cloudflare is best known for their content delivery network and DNS management services. But did you know you can host a website for free on Cloudflare? In this video, I'll give you the rundown on Cloudflare pages, explain what limitations it has, and I'll even show you a way to host a WordPress website on Cloudflare pages for free. So what is Cloudflare pages? It's a feature of Cloudflare that allows you to host HTML and CSS pages on the Cloudflare network. Cloudflare pages takes advantage of the Cloudflare global network with over 320 server locations worldwide. And in my experience, sites hosted on Cloudflare pages are blazing fast. Cloudflare pages is included with a free Cloudflare account, so you can upload your site files, host it on Cloudflare, and use Cloudflare to manage your DNS. Now, it's important to understand that Cloudflare pages is limited to static websites. It can only display pages that have HTML and CSS, and it can't run any server-side code. For advanced users, you can can run JavaScript with Cloudflare workers, but platforms like WordPress that require PHP to function cannot run on Cloudflare pages. If you do have the skills to write your own HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you don't have to use WordPress or any page builder to use Cloudflare pages, and you can get a simple site that looks great. However, for most users, you're probably going to want a website builder. So even though you can't run WordPress natively on Cloudflare pages, I'll show you a workaround to host a WordPress site later in the video. Just keep in mind that your site can't have any dynamic functions unless they're powered by JavaScript. Basically, whether you use WordPress, Webflow, or another website builder, you'll need to generate your pages and export the code as HTML to upload it to Cloudflare pages. Unfortunately, a lot of drag and drop page builders like Webflow that let you export code require a costly subscription to do so. And at that point, you might as well subscribe to a site plan at Webflow and let them host it for you. But if you don't need any dynamic features on your your website like e-commerce functionality or contact forms, you can export WordPress sites to static pages and get fast, free web hosting with Cloudflare pages. Let me show you how. For us to export a WordPress site to HTML, we first need to set up WordPress somewhere so that we can build the site. Typically, you'd install WordPress on your web hosting, but since the goal is to use Cloudflare pages as a free solution and Cloudflare pages can't run WordPress, we can work around this by running WordPress locally on your computer. There's a few ways to do this, but I like using a free tool called Local WP. Local is a desktop app that runs WordPress on your computer. You can access the admin dashboard and build your site on your computer, then you can export the code as static HTML and upload it to Cloudflare pages. Let me show you how that works. Once you've downloaded local, create a new site and you can choose to create a site from scratch or you can create a site with one of local's blueprints which includes pre-installed elements. I'm going to proceed with creating it from scratch, and remember, if you choose one of Local's blueprints, your site cannot have any dynamic features, or if it does, they're not going to function on Cloudflare pages. So keep that in mind if Local suggests contact forms or any other plugins that add dynamic functionality. Next, I'll give my site a name and click continue, and I'm going to leave it on the preferred environment and click continue, and now I can set a WordPress username and password. You should also update the WordPress email and then click add site. While you wait for local to finish installing WordPress, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe and click the bell and you'll be the first to know about new content just like this. When local is done installing WordPress, you can access it in your browser by clicking the WP admin button. Now you just build your WordPress site like normal, paying special attention not to implement any dynamic features in the pages. I'm not gonna cover how to build a WordPress site in this video, but if you need help learning the ropes of WordPress, check out my free course on building a WordPress site from start to finish at Krayler Academy. I'll have it linked below. When your WordPress site is ready to export, we'll need to install a plugin called Simply Static. Head over to plugins and add new plugin and then search for simply static. Go ahead and install now and then when it's done installing we can click activate and once you activate we get a message that says plugin activated and a button to refresh now. Let's click the refresh button and then we'll see the new simply static option in the sidebar and I'm just going to click generate. 
Now, you may see a banner that says there are some errors that may negatively affect your site export, and if you get this banner, just click the Visit Diagnostics button so we can see what's going on. In my case, it's warning me that there's no SSL certificate, but that doesn't matter since I'm not deploying my site to GitHub or any of these other services. I just want to download a copy of the static HTML to upload it to Cloudflare pages. So if this is the error message that you see, which you probably will if you're using local, it's safe to ignore it. If you see an error message with PHP or any of these other things, it might cause an issue that you need to troubleshoot before generating the export. Since it's safe for me to proceed, I'm just going to click Generate Static Files, and then I'll click Activity Log so I can see what's going on in real time. It looks like it's already done. If you see this zip archive line, but you don't see a link to download, you just need to scroll sideways, and here's the link to download your zip file. Now we can upload the files to Cloudflare Pages, so let's head over to the Cloudflare dashboard. In the dashboard, go to the sidebar and scroll down till you see Workers and Pages, then select the little dropdown and click Overview. Here, we want to make sure the Pages tab is selected, and then scroll down and click Upload Assets. Now we can name our project, and your name can only contain lowercase letters, and it can't have any spaces. If you're good to go, you'll get this green check mark and Cloudflare will tell you where your page is going to be hosted. I'll click Create Project and then we can proceed with uploading the assets. Now, it's really simple. All you have to do is upload the zip file that you downloaded from Simply Static. You do not need to open the zip file or extract anything. Just take the full zip file that you downloaded within WordPress from the Simply Static plugin and upload that directly to Cloudflare. We can see all the files were uploaded successfully and we get a preview of everything that was within the zip file and if everything looks good, just click Deploy Site. Now it'll give you a URL where your site is hosted, so visit that URL and make sure it loads properly. If you get an error message, don't panic, give it five or 10 minutes and try again. Sometimes it needs a few minutes to propagate, and I got an error message before in my testing, but when I gave it some time and tried again later, everything was good to go. In my case, it's already live and functioning, and one of the first things I noticed when trying Cloudflare pages is just how blatant fast the hosting is. That's one of the advantages to having static pages. Everything loads so quickly. Your site is almost ready to go, but I'm sure you're wondering how to connect your custom domain. And with Cloudflare, it's super easy. To do this, go to the Workers and Pages option in the sidebar and select your project. Then go over to the Custom Domains tab and click Set up a custom domain. I'm just going to enter my domain and click Continue. If you haven't already added your domain to Cloudflare for DNS management, you'll be prompted to do that next. You'll have to change your domain's name servers to point to Cloudflare. And if you're asked to select a plan, just pick the free plan. If you don't see it, scroll down. They try to hide it, but the free plan is there and it's all you need. In my case, I've already added my domain to Cloudflare for DNS management before using Pages. So it's got the DNS record ready to add and I'm just gonna click Activate Domain. It'll take a few minutes to initialize, and if you're having any trouble setting things up, I'm always available to chat in my Discord server. It's free to join, and I help out as much as I can. You can also get help from other members of the community, so I'll have it linked below if you're interested in joining. After giving it a few minutes, I'm able to visit my custom domain and load my site hosted on Cloudflare Pages. There's one last thing I'd recommend, and that's to add a DNS record for www. because some users are old school and still type www www in front of your domain name. In order to do that, go back to the Cloudflare dashboard and go to the same custom domains tab as earlier. Click set up a custom domain and we're going to repeat the same exact process, this time putting www dot in front of your domain name. So it should look like this. Click continue and this time your domain is definitely already added to Cloudflare DNS. So all you have to do is click activate domain. Just like before, give it a few minutes and then try loading your domain with www. in front to make sure it works. Now that your site is up and running, if you need to make changes, you'll do that by opening local on your computer and launching your installation of WordPress. There, you can modify your site from the admin dashboard, then you'll go through the same process of exporting your site with the Simply Static plugin and uploading the zip file to Cloudflare Pages. Thankfully, you don't have to go through the process of setting up the project or DNS records again. You just replace the files in the existing project to update your site. 
Now, while you are limited to static elements on your page, I wanted to bring up a hack that might be helpful if you absolutely need a contact form on your site. There's nothing stopping you from embedding HTML widgets in your website. So you could use a service like Wufu or Google Forms to make a contact form and embed the form as HTML on your website. It won't look as integrated or pretty as a contact form that you might generate with a WordPress plugin, but embedding a form from a third-party service ensures that their servers handle processing the form requests, and that means it can still function on Cloudflare pages. But what if you don't want to deal with any of this? As you can see, it's very possible to host a free website on Cloudflare, but there's a lot of extra steps involved. It might be worth it if you absolutely need a free solution, and as far as free solutions go, Cloudflare is the fastest and most reliable option you're going to find. But if you want the convenience of making easy changes to your WordPress site and accessing dynamic features like e-commerce and contact forms, Forms, you'll need to invest in some web hosting. I'd recommend DreamHost or Hostinger for budget options as they both have some solid plans for under $10 a month. If you're interested in hosting options, you can check out my hosting comparison video where I look at five popular options here.